Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another From the Vault video. Yeah, it's a little video series where I show off something from my personal collection, and many times it's something that is rare or valuable, or rare and valuable to me. But in this case, we're doing something that's a little bit different, kind of the exact opposite. This is my HK416 chambered in 22. Yeah, you guys have seen those rifles and pistols that I think are actually made by Umarex or Walther that are imported by HK, and that's what this gun started out as. But I call this my HK416 moped. And you guys know what a moped is. It's one of those little small motorized scooters or motorcycles that are a lot of fun to use, but you don't want your friends seeing you use it. That's kind of what this rifle is. As I mentioned, it kind of started off as one of those little 416 22 clones. They're a lot of fun to shoot and take to the range, but as you can see over time, this thing has evolved into something completely different. And I always get a lot of looks at the range, especially because of what I have on the rear end of this with this particular stock. But also, I got a ton of stuff up here on the front when it comes to lasers and lights and sights and all that kind of fun stuff. And it just kind of evolved over time. And at the heart of it, as I said, is still that 416 22. It's one of the most fun guns to shoot. It's just in 22. It's not the greatest 22 rifle ever made, but it's like an AR 15. You can just go to the range and plink a whole bunch. Now, when I assembled this with all the accessories you have on it, I really didn't intend it to be this tacti cool, or some people might call it a tacti tarred rifle because it has almost everything you can throw on it. Yeah, it looks kind of goofy, and I'm not one of those tactical guys that like tries to throw everything on their rifle. This is just what it kind of turned into. And I got all these different accessories from various product reviews that I've done in the past. And many times when it comes to a product that I review and shoot or use, and it actually turns out to be pretty good, I try to use it in some capacity on some gun that I own. Now, not every product that I review, a laser light or sight is any good, and sometimes those just end up in a box. But these are ones that I actually enjoyed using. So they just kind of ended up on this rifle and it kind of looks a little bit goofy and a little bit fun. But let me tell you, this gun is so much fun to shoot, but I just don't want people seeing me shoot it. But I thought I'd just kind of show it off today and I'll talk about what I have personally done with it. I'll start here in the back because people always ask about this particular stock because it looks so goofy. It's so small. Well, I bought this stock from hkparts.net and it's the HK416-22 PDW stock. Yeah, so it is telescoping and it is really small. And I think the whole point of it was to put on those shorter barreled or the pistol version ones, which I was not able to do because the receiver on those are different than the rifle ones. So this will only fit on the rifle versions. I actually think it works really well. And even though you don't have a lot of padding here on the back, the gun's just chambered in 22 and actually fits in my shoulder pretty darn well, and I like the look of that telescoping stock. The only issue I really had with it is that it comes with a different pin for the rear of the receiver because where these rods or these arms go through the receiver actually are really close and it will rub on that pin, so you have to have one that is flat. However, it doesn't really match up with the receiver very well and it got bent. So I just used an HK MP5 pin, which is the same size, and so I can't completely collapse this stock, but I can close it to about that when I put it in the safe, but fully retracted, it's actually pretty, pretty long as you can see, and it works pretty well, and it's actually pretty darn stable. I just can't completely collapse it, but I think it has an interesting look. I did put some Magpul Imbus sights on those, and I did buy those myself, as well as I said, that stock and this vertical foregrip here from Magpul. But all the other stuff has been given to me when it comes to those product reviews. So I, the light I have on it over here is a Thrunai TW20. Did a review on one of those. I have the pressure pad on this side for that light so I can turn that thing on and off. It works really well. I can hold it and then release it. I can leave it on. It's actually pretty darn nice. Easily charged and everything I said in that review is honest. It works great. And here's this green laser that I recently reviewed. I think it was actually yesterday's video. I really liked it, but I don't like laser sights by themselves. So I just kind of threw it on this rifle. I got the pressure pad for that one here. So I can go between the light and the laser if I wanted to. I can turn the laser on 
and keep it on with that button or just use the on off switch right there which is just touch sensitive and I have all the cables managed pretty well I have one of those velcro straps as you can see and I have one of the ergo grips rail covers that you can run wires through and I use that on the flashlight and then up here the optic I have is the Sile or Kylie or Sealy, not really sure how to pronounce that once again, the G10 green dot that I reviewed. And I said it's kind of like a Sig Romeo 5, and it works really, really well. And putting all these things on this rifle, yeah, they're kind of cheaper accessories, but they're fun and they all work and they all work really well. So putting them on this little 22 is just a lot of fun and it kind of makes the thing look kind of like a Mark 18 with all the junk on it. And as I said, no, I didn't put it on here just because I thought I was tactical or anything. It's just because I just happened to have all this stuff. It's like, I gotta put it on some rifle because they're actually decent quality. So going to the range, I know that I look like some type of tachytard operator, but no, that's not the intent of this. I don't think I'm gonna go to war with this. It's just a fun little 22 rifle with a whole bunch of goofy accessories on it. And Honestly, it's a lot of fun to shoot. The gun's really accurate. Uh, right now, I just have one of these little 10 round magazines in it, but you can buy the 20 rounds and the 30 rounds, and I have a few of those as well. It has just been a great gun to shoot. It's a great gun to introduce people to shooting AR-15s and just kind of work them up from 22 to 5.56. So I just wanted to do a little from the vault video because I added this green laser after my product review yesterday. And now I have this crazy looking 22. This thing might be the most tactical 22 rifle I've ever seen. Well, definitely the one I've ever owned. So let me give you guys one more close up of this particular setup I have here. There's all those pressure pads, the green laser, the light, the sights. There's the Sile G10 sight. There's that goofy stock there on the back. Yeah, it's a goofy gun. I know that. I have no illusions that it's something cool. And as I said, I didn't build this or assemble this because I thought I was being awesome. I know exactly what it is. It's simply goofy. It's simply tacky. It's odd looking, but it's fun. It's actually really light and well balanced as well, as you can see. The center of gravity is right there, right where I would want it, even with all these goofy accessories on it. It's just a fun gun to shoot. So something interesting from my collection that's a little bit different than the cool and the rare, it's just my HK416 moped. So what do you guys think? Do you have any guns of your collection that are mopeds, things that you really like, but maybe no, they're not the best or they're goofy or tacky or whatever, and you don't want your other friends to know you have it or shoot it? but you still like it nonetheless, well, that's what this is for me. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.